Bethal is a Netflix horror web series that is co-produced by Red Chilli's Entertainment, aka Shah Rukh Khan, and has had audiences, especially horror fans, extremely excited. Lately, horror fans have not really had Indian content to celebrate. From underwhelming projects like Bhoot and Pari, Tumbad being the last impressive and original horror film that surprised and terrified audiences. Bethal focuses on a counterinsurgency squad that gets hired to clear out an ancient tribal population for an industrial project, not knowing in the process that they activate a curse. that unleashes an army of zombies from the British East India Company. The web series is presented in a four episode format. Talking about the story of the series, it has also been accused of copyright infringement by Marathi screenwriter Samir and Mahesh, who said that the screenplay has unavoidable similarities to their zombie screenplay called Vetal. Beyond this mess, it was refreshing to see a narrative of zombies with an Indian history narrative. As in the case of Indian film history, zombies being only the prime focus for a comedy like Go Go Are Gone and a below average attempt through a Tamil film like Miruthan getting into whether the Netflix series Bethal is worth your time or not here is tried and refused productions with the good and bad aspects of the series the underwhelming aspects minor details i would like to slightly brush upon a few things that came across as uncomfortable to watch mind you i could only find a few details problematic about this unique and most importantly exciting horror series number 1 in order for us to get introduced to the world we get a narrative that the counter insurgency squad is being hired to do the dirty work of extracting a tribal population presented to the public as naxals but the series shows glimpses of a news discussion which showcases generic dialogue such as why don't you go to Pakistan? Pakistan and with an annoying news anchor which has become a staple these days in movies and shows the repetitive nature of the same buzzwords of the social climate of the country today is getting exhausting number 2 jitendra joshi plays mudalwan and he does a spectacular job he's a money hungry pompous and insensitive prick that only looks at his ulterior motives the man is presented as a full on villain with absolutely no redeeming quality while other characters are presented with layers points of contention as they find themselves in a terrible situation This character just seems like a sociopathic villain even while he's surrounded by zombies trying to weasel his way out. Jitendra brilliantly performs the character but the dude comes across as just evil just because he's motivated by money. Lastly, there are moments where the characters are focused so that they can deliver their punchline. Sometimes however, these dialogues just seem a bit odd for the moment. While shooting the zombies, one of the officers says, "Ye le Bhagat Singh ke le." And just before firing hundreds of the undead, one character says, "Ab hoga hard Brexit." These moments are few and far between, but I had to mention them as what stuck out as rather unpalatable. The good structure. The series is presented as four episodes, and the build-up is thriller and horror gold. The creators, especially writers Patrick Graham and Swahani Kanwar, need to be appreciated for sucking you in as the episodes progress. The episodes are immaculately structured. The first episode focuses on the disastrous step. that the counter insurgency squad has taken clearly an order influenced by money independent from the trials and tribulations of the tribal community the second episode builds on the effect of the attacks of the undead and the counter insurgency squad coming to terms with who is their real enemy the third and fourth episode fittingly explores the legend myth and folklore surrounding the army of zombies the motivation for their attacks and the exit strategy and subsequent dire consequences to the can of worms they have unknowingly opened it's any thriller and horror fans treat to watch this series cinematography and sound design the web series is brilliantly shot and captured by cinematographer srinivas achari and tane satam the visual representation is extremely bleak on the opposite spectrum of saturated and constantly covered with cloudy skies the creators fully intended to transport you to the dire circumstances the squad willingly became participants of another spectacular feature of the series is the sound design by ankita purkayastha many horror films have the tendency to really blare the background music to compensate for the lack of dialogue as characters are moving but the series perfectly hits the note of when the impact of the audio medium should be utilized to have that desired effect whether it's a lingering anxiety among the group and eventual jump scare or a warning by an infected soldier the music brilliantly accompanies the series as one of its strongest qualities the premise okay i can't comment on the case that is still ongoing regarding the show but i can only judge for what i saw and my god guys it is exactly what we as indian content buffs crave and need right now i you and all of us constantly keep on complaining about no new concept shows or movies coming in the market and why don't we look into our own history folklore and mythology to tell stories and this show exactly delivers that and i think you will thoroughly enjoy it especially if you're fans of the horror and thriller genre just listen to the pitch a counter in 
insurgency squad get sent in to do the dirty work of removing an ancient tribal group so that an industrial project can be set up false promises of a better and developed world in the future the armed squad breaks the curse the tribals were protecting for their sake leading to the history of the indian rebellion of 1857 unfolding and the undead causing absolute havoc i haven't even got into it as that you have to witness on netflix because it's intricate detailing about the history and mysticism around the undead made me enjoy the series 10 times more the cast and the vision vineet kumar singh is a bona fide star man he leads the way in the series as vikram sirohi and he does a phenomenal job an ideal soldier that is extremely able and brave from the supporting cast suchitra pillai as commander tyagi does a commendable job even though sometimes her demonic presence became caricaturish her role as a commander in charge was convincing jatin goswami as akbar and ahana kumar as aluwalia brilliant as well siddharth menon as nadir haq the rookie on his first mission that gets adversely affected and eventually infected as you saw in the trailer especially after the gruesome act puts forth a horrifying performance his sequence were one of the biggest highlights my favorite performer in the show however was manjri as punya a part of the tribal community that is well versed with the legend and the impending attack she is confident and a straight up badass in the series i'm telling you guys other than the very technical and minor bumps in the series this is what horror fans in india are craving for captivating stories rooted in the country taking influence from our own history and folklore respect to netflix and shahrukh khan backing up such a unique project and presenting us a community of filmy buffs who love thrillers and horrors by the way with something simply awesome i highly recommend you watch the series ps the way they captured the end of the series had my mind blown and that was the video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the show please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching